Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. And today we're going to talk about Transformers. Most of your incoming power is going to be 480 or 240, but many of your components will be 110. So a lot of times you'll see a 110 volt transformer in the control panel. So what a transformer does is it changes one voltage to another voltage. So in our case, we're taking our 480 volt that's coming in, and then we're going through the transformer to create the 110 volt coming out. When you get your transformer, it'll come with several things. Uh, you'll have your transformer, and then chances are you'll have a secondary fuse kit, and they most of them make a really convenient primary fuse kit, and we'll go through those later. Then typically you'll need some fuses, and you'll have some fuse covers. Now these may be optional, but they shouldn't be. Typically a transformer, no matter whether it be this 100 volt amp or if it be 100 kVA, will have something similar to this circuit diagram that you see here. And all of them will have an HV, which is high voltage, and an LV, which is low voltage. Sometimes the HV is called just H, and the low voltage is called X. In our case, it is HV and LV. So then you'll see, in this case, the case of this transformer, it can transform either 240 or 480 to 120 or 240. Now you notice that you got 240 here, you got 240 here. What you got to think about is, okay, which one of the voltages do you, that you're using is the high voltage and which one is the low voltage? And I wouldn't even say incoming, I'm going as much as high voltage, low voltage. So let's say we have 480 and we need 120. Well, here's our 480. 480 is greater than 120, so 480 is going to be our high voltage, and 120 will be our low voltage. Okay, let's say we were doing 240 to 120. Then, our higher voltage is 240, so this is our 240 connection, and this is our 120 connection. We could also be doing 480 to 240. We can do lots of neat things with transformers. So right below it, you'll see these little lines across it, and you'll notice then on the 240 side, it has two little lines jumpering one to two and three to four. And over here on the 480 side, it just has a line going from two to three and then you have these long lines coming off. Well, these long lines coming off are your incoming power. So what this is saying is you're gonna hook 480 volt to the first terminal and the fourth terminal and you're gonna put a jumper between two and three. In the case of 230, you would put your incoming power on one and four, exactly the same as 480 but you're gonna connect jumpers between one and two, and then you'll have a jumper between three and four. And that's what this diagram over here is really showing you also, is the connections internally of the transformer. But really, this basic line diagram is all you need to wire a transformer. So in our case, we are gonna be connecting 480 to this. So we're gonna loosen terminals two and terminal three. And then in with the secondary fuse kit that came with this transformer, there are also these little jumpers right here. And there you go. The incoming side is now set up to have 480 between terminals 1 and terminals 4. Now on to the secondary side, we want 120 coming out of this. So we see here our lines are going to be 1 and 4, and then we need jumpers between 1 and 2 and three and four. So our kit has included two additional jumpers. So we have this wire now so we can put 480 on terminals one and four of the top of this transformer and we're going to get 120 out of the bottom on terminals one and four. But we also have these other terminals five through eight which aren't documented anywhere on this but it has to do with the fuse kits that you can put on them. Now first of all, if you're using external circuit protection, you won't need these. You can just forget about these terminals. We take our voltmeter, and I just have it on ohms. See, when I cross them together, I have continuity. Well, between these two terminals, I have continuity. And between these two terminals, I have continuity. And between these two terminals, I have continuity. And what that's going to allow me to do is I'm gonna hook my 480 actually on these two terminals, terminal six and seven, which are also connected to terminals five and eight. Then I'm gonna put my primary fuse kit in and in between here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and take these screws out. And we're just gonna loosen up terminals one and four of the primary. Now I can hook my power onto wires six and seven. 
And since six is connected to five, when I pop my fuse into it, it's gonna con connect it onto one, giving power to my transformer. Then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side, and so I'm gonna connect this wire to terminal number seven, which is also connected to eight. It's gonna send the power through to terminal four. So now I have a fused primary for my transformer and a nice convenient place to lay my wires. Now we'll do the same thing with the secondary. I'll be able to connect my outgoing power to terminal number six, which is also connected to five, and then five with my fuse will go to terminal number one. There you have it. We've wired the transformer with primary and secondary fusing for 480 volt coming in and 120 volt coming out. The best thing to do if you're not sure if you have your transformer wired right is disconnect the lead from the secondary side, turn the power on, and check it. We'd like to thank our Patreon supporters who made this video possible. If you'd like to learn more about being a Patreon supporter, see the link in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. Also, I'll put a fuse recommendation chart link in the description. And, you know, that could be out to the side, but, you know, these primary and secondary fuse kits really give you a nice spot to make sure you get your circuit protection in. Till next time. See ya. Right. What does he always say? What is his uh, line? Let's roll well. No. No. But he says something else. Like something about the power, the cube or something. The cube? That's that's Star Trek. That's the board. <laughs> no, because in the that's movie the matrix. he had the cube. Yeah, we and had he the took matrix. It, took it out of his chest. They that took was it. the matrix. Whatever. It'll light our darkest hour. Throw it out. <laughs> Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.